It's just uh, an update on Mitchell Clark, not good news. No, he's going to be out for three weeks, um, which is uh, a bit of a blow because he's, he's done well for us. Um, but uh, it's just one of those things, you know. He's played every, he's played a lot of games since he's been here, um, going from under twenty one football to league football with the intensity is higher. So I think, you know, you're always wary that he might get an injury. But it was something or nothing really. But uh, yes, yeah, he's going to be out for three weeks. What are your options without him? Obviously, we've got James Gibbons who can come back into the squad. Um, we've got Theo who can play yeah. either either side as well. Um, so you know we, we've got enough options um, for that area. And Ricky Miller, how's he looking? He's still still suffering with his hamstring, but only slightly. Um, he's back in training, but we don't want to risk it. Um, so you're talking a week Tuesday for him. Hopefully the uh, Stoke City game. Yeah, Stoke game. We'll wait and see what happens there. You look at the fixtures in the league coming up. Yeovil, you've got Morecambe, you've got Cheltenham, Macclesfield. A big opportunity now, surely, to kind of decide whether this season is going to have any success or whether it's going to just peter out. I never look at the teams we're playing and where they are in the league. Every game in this league is tough, whether you're playing the top four or the bottom four. You know, you've got to get over that issue that you think you're going to pick up you know, loads of points. We're only going to pick up points if the players perform to their ability. As you see in the first half Saturday, if we perform like that, we'll get nothing. Um, so every game we treat as if we're playing a team that's you know top of the league. Every game's important, whether they're down the bottom, mid table. We've just got to, we want to win the game. It's as simple as that, and the mentality's got to be right from the players because it is from the staff. Is it getting to a stage in the season now, though, where you're approaching the midway point that? you need to start putting a run together if the season is to kind of have a happy ending or whether it's not just going to peter out? Most definitely. You've got, uh, you know, like, like I've said previously, you've got to be consistent in your performances and, and and then hopefully you'll pick up the wins. But like I said, it's it, it's important that we treat, you know, we go game to game. There's no point looking, like you said, three, four games ahead. We have to beat Yeovil or get something from Yeovil away, which is not going to be easy. Um, and then we regroup for the next game, which will be Stoke, and then the important league game at Morecambe. So we've got two tough away <coughs> fixtures, um, and if we come out with points against them, then we'll be happy. So the consistency thing then, just picking up on a point you made there, is it in some cases an attitude problem? I think some players can think Swindon got beat 4-0, but we, we looked at the footage, it wasn't a 4-0. You, you know, you look. We always look at, uh, we analyse the games, uh, and they were on top. Carlisle were clinical; they, they had five chances, scored four. You know, but Swindon actually played some good football and were unlucky to be two 0 down. So, you know, and we go into the game saying it's going to be difficult. First 15, 20 minutes, keep it tight, and then we build from that. But at the moment, you know, we're conceding too early in games sometimes. And it gives us a mountain to climb because, like you say, we're not prolific goal scorers. We don't create lots of chances. We need to create more chances. Um, so we work on that in training during the week and put things in players' heads. And then it's down to them to go and try and transfer it to a Saturday or a Tuesday. So um, you know we have to. You just got to keep working hard, and hopefully we can create a bit more than we're doing. It's always a difficult place to go to Yeovil, mainly because of the, the distance doesn't help. Is that hindered any more on a Tuesday or not? I don't think so. It's you know everyone can read into that. I've said to the players um, when I was at Gate said, you know most of our journeys were on a Friday away from home, from where we were based. Mm. I remember going to Boreham Wood last game, one of the last games of the season, on the day from Gate said, and we won four nil. So, you know it's the preparation going on the day is fine. You, you, your mind's right. The players are relaxed. You're there early enough in plenty of time. Go out a bit earlier for the warm up, and then once you know you get to quarter seven, seven o'clock, you should be focused on the job in hand.